Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back. And I wanted to go ahead and give my review on The Real Housewives of New York City. All right, so listen. This is cute. Let's just be honest, okay? When the trailer was released for this new... Um, this new, you know, Real Housewives of New York City. The trailer was just cute. You know, I hadn't really decided whether or not um, I wanted to, based off of the trailer, I'll say that it didn't give me enough to the point where I felt like I wanted to review the show. Maybe watch it here and there. Um, but it didn't just necessarily pull me in. Um, I must say this first episode, was it was good to me it really does feel like they <clears throat> it does it does appear like a like a new fresh um it's like they really hit the restart button <laughs> i'm gonna say this if this revamp of um what they call it roni <laughs> real housewives of new york does what they want it to do, I would be afraid if I were any of the other ladies in the other cities. Especially Atlanta. This was cute. The ladies, they just come across as naturals in front of the camera to me. Um, you know, it's the first episode. Everybody seems cool. I'm going to tell y'all right now, I don't necessarily go up for her because I don't know any of these ladies at all. But just for her fashions alone, baby, Miss Jenna Lyons, is that her name? I said Miss Think is sickening. <laughs> I've been paying attention to her since, well, not paying attention to her. I have been seeing her, and when I see her, I pay attention since they kind of did the whole, you know, these are going to be the new ladies. I have not seen that lady look a mess yet. Jenna, to me, this is no tea, no shade. When it comes to fashion, I think out of all the women that I have seen on any of the housewife shows, I think Jenna's taste in fashion is just on a whole nother level. I don't give two cents if we're talking about Dorit, Erica Jane, Marlo, any of the girls who are deemed the fashion girls of their cities or their franchise. Girl, that Jenna. <laughs> I love everything about her. From her hair to her toes. I have not seen that lady look bad once. <sighs> I used to really be into like fashion and clothes and all that good stuff. And then I kind of like <laughs> stop caring. Watching her made me want to go to my closet and start trying to see if I can piece some cute fly pieces together. Watching Jenna, I started following Jenna on social media. <laughs> That's how much I go up for her fashion. Because I don't know nothing about that lady. I had never heard of any of these women before this show. But just her fashion game is just on a whole nother level to me. She can pull off heels, tennis shoes. Like, I just, it's just, I got excited looking at her on my TV screen. They were, they were on Watch What Happens Live. <laughs> Miss Think had on this oversized blazer with these jeans, hair pulled back on the ponytail, her glasses on, some old nasty heels. I say, yes, ma'am. This is what I'm talking about. 
This is what I'm talking about. Jenna's that girl when it comes to fashion. Even her casual looks be fly. The, the opening credits, I think she has like on a pantsuit. One thing about Jenna, she do not like wearing a bra. Baby, when I tell you, them titties going to be out. Them titties going to be out. <laughs> Guess that? I live. I think she had on some boxers. <laughs> I don't know. And a pantsuit with like some Converse style shoes. I can't remember the, the shoe. But it was like a tennis shoe. No bra. <laughs> I say, come on, Jenna. <laughs> Girl. This episode was cute. I also want to say this too. <laughs> this is just the first episode. So this is really not going to be... We're just going to talk about the episode, but, you know, the more we get into the seasons, the more we can start to get into, like, the meat and potatoes. This episode was really about cheese. Cheese. What kind of cheese? I don't know. But nonetheless, cheese. I feel like if I go to BravoCon, I got to be real cute because I want to take a picture with Jenna. Jenna, if you see my review, girl, <laughs> if I come to BravoCon, no, not if. I'm coming to BravoCon in November. I want to take a picture with you, but I got to make sure my outfit is together because me and Jenna are going to shut it down, okay? Um, um, this is what Housewives is supposed to be about. I have been saying this for a very long time, and the people who watch my other reviews know this. Housewives is supposed to be about, well, it was supposed to be about these, these kept women who live behind the gates, who, you know, just pretty much spend their husband's money all day, you know, <laughs> and it is what it is. And they just argue over kind of like petty dumb stuff. And then somewhere, somehow, some way we took a turn and it kind of started to go dark, as some of us say. And then it became about, you know, sex dungeon allegations and you drugging me and, you know, girls stealing from old people and stealing from burn victims, widows and orphans. And it just kind of turned into a mess. If you can watch this episode of Real Housewives of New York and be entertained, and they really center the conversation around some cheese, then you shouldn't really have an issue with any of the other franchises. Because the truth of the matter is, this is what the show is supposed to be about. A group of women who really get together, they probably got a little bit of money, and they don't have nothing else going on. Well, they have something going on, of course. Um, but the arguments are just like petty, dumb, like asinine arguments. Nothing too serious, nothing too deep. Oh, girl, you lied and said that I said something about some cheese. <laughs> right? In the real world, we're not arguing about no cheese. But in their world, they're arguing about cheese. Okay, so who do we have? Okay, so we have Brynn, <laughs> who I love. Brynn is hilarious. <laughs> Brynn is, Brynn is a key key to me. <laughs> I probably laughed at Brynn. I laughed, I laughed at the stuff Brynn was saying probably at least five or six times. So Brynn is funny. Um, I love Jenna and her fashions. Uh, Jessel, Jessel, Jessel seems cool. Sai seems cool. Um, Uber, is it Uber? Uber seems cool. Aaron said, everybody see, it's the first episode. But everybody seems cool. Now, by the time we get to the to, to the third, then we probably start calling them bitches. <laughs> oh, she a bitch. <laughs> but right now, everybody seems cool. Um, Bryn says she loves Sai's life. Sai is married. Um, she has two kids. Um, I think she's a content creator. Um, her husband supports her. Her husband retired. Um, she says her husband is the most supportive man. Um, so shout out to them. Um, I don't I, I don't know if he retired. 
you know, I, I, I don't agree. You know, sometimes the girls can retire early because they got it like that. So I'm assuming Sai's husband got it like that. He was like, I just retire. You can just do what you're going to do. And I just stay here with the kids. I done did my, I done worked. So I was like, okay, girl, whatever. I don't know. Um, Bryn says that when she sees size kids, it makes her want to have kids. But when she sees Jessel's kids, she's like, ugh. <laughs> Bryn is funny. Um, Jessel has twin boys. She's also married. Um, I think she's been married for seven years. I think Sai has been married for like 15. Um... So basically, Aaron, I guess, was trying to plan like a last minute dinner for the group. I don't know the restaurant. Now, what they trying to say is, because what I tell you, one thing about the two things to show, they was bleeping out the name of that restaurant. I think that it was, from what the people are saying online, I don't know. But allegedly, the restaurant, the restaurant is, it belongs to the guy from um, Top Chef Tom. I don't know how true that is. I don't know nothing about Tom. I know Top Chef, but I don't know nothing about the restaurant. People have been trying to piece it together online. But whatever it is, they're basically saying that it probably has something to do with somebody from, like, I guess, the Bravo world, and they didn't want to just say it, right? I don't know. But they didn't say the restaurant nonetheless. Um, so Aaron wanted to plan, like, a little, you know, last minute, you know, outing, for dinner for the for the group. Um, I think her husband was gonna gonna be there, and somebody else's husband, Sai, um, and <laughs> Brian. From what I remember, made it seem as though they were gonna be going home <laughs> <laughs> because they really didn't want to go to the restaurant. Because Brian said it's a mess. <laughs> Brian said it's a mess. She won't be caught dead there, girl. This is not 2012. She says I'll take my family from Florida there, but I'm not going there. <laughs> I know that's right. Miss Brian said I'd rather go to Olive Garden because they got they got some slap ass breadsticks and a good ass salad. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Um, so, girl, basically, they didn't go. They made it seem as though they were going home, but they went to another restaurant. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is what I feel like Housewives is supposed to be about. Just petty shit, girl, arguing, <laughs> you know, but I will say this much. It's funny, but if I was Aaron, I would have been pissed off a little bit too. I would have been irritated. Because, like, girl, we're just trying to hang. Aaron's whole thing was we're just trying, I'm just trying to, you know, hang out. Y'all trying to make it all about the restaurant. Girl, let's just go have a good time. And then, girl, then we can just go home. But girl, you ain't got to lie. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking y'all about to go home. Girl, I look on the Instagram and girl, y'all taking shots on the Instagram. Now I got to curse y'all out. <laughs> so I, I, I got why Erin was frustrated. Because it could be, you know, I got why she was frustrated. Um, I said Jenna loves a no bra moment. Um, Jessel's mother. Jessel's mother is 66. Hell, quiet as it's kept. She looked younger than Jenna. No tea, no shade. Um, but uh, Jenna wants to host a dinner. Oh, Jenna has a 15 year old son. Um, Jenna wants to host a dinner. Um, I think the colors are a khaki, black, and gold. Now she says now this is this is this is the truth. I feel like this is the truth for a lot of people. I didn't know until I was until someone told me. Probably about I found out about 15. Also, I found out probably like, not 15, probably about 10 to 13 years ago, I always thought khaki was a chino, if that makes sense. I think a lot of people make that mistake. Khaki is, the, is, is a color. A chino is a pant. <laughs> but I think when people think of khaki, they think of a chino instead of thinking of khaki the color. <laughs> Right? Does that make sense what I'm saying? So when she said khaki, black, and gold, I think people were like, khaki. <laughs> well, they probably didn't, because I mean, you, you, they probably didn't. They, I think most of them are like fashion girls. But I don't think a lot of people just have khaki in their clothes. I really don't. 
I think it would make sense for Jenna to have it because Jenna used to work for J. Crew. Um, but I don't think a lot of people just have khaki um, in their closet. Um, so I think that would be something that you would probably have to go purchase. Um, but yeah, I think Jenna said it also that I, that when people think of khaki, they think of it as a color. I mean, I think of it as like a pant when it's actually the name, it's the chino and khaki is the color. <laughs> um, but yeah, I used to always think khaki was basically like, oh, I'm about to go, because you would hear people say, I'm about to go buy me some khakis. <laughs> You you don't hear people say I want to buy chinos, and I want khaki. I want the color to be khaki. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Um, so Erin is very close to her family. She was born and raised in Manhattan. Um, she has three kids. She says the 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 tool or the the basically what she tries to do to basically make sure the kids. Don't talk to her for a couple of hours. It's to make sure they're always busy. So she tries to get all the toys, all the games, everything. So basically, they say the fuck out of her face. <laughs> I'm not mad at it. Um, she says when she first met her husband at one point, when they were, I guess, dating, she found a whole bunch of cell phones or something. And she kind of got pissed off, but she also low-key was doing the same thing. <laughs> yeah. Um, Jenna. Jenna has, I think, over 380 pairs of shoes. Um, she worked in the fashion industry. She says she's given a lot away, but she's also pretty much replaced the one she gave away in some. Um, Jenna's house, Jenna's house is nice. It's not necessarily my taste, um, but it's a very nice house. I like the way it's decorated. Um, it, 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 I feel like it goes with her personality. Um, Jessel has a nice home. Um, you know, even... I don't know how she got them kids, girl. I because Jess Jessel's I think her name is Jessel, right? Jessel is that her name? Um, she has toddlers, and her home is cream and white, basically. I said, girl, I don't know how you, I don't know how you doing that, honey. Um, Jenna wants to play a game. Basically, we ask questions because she doesn't she does she she doesn't know all of the ladies very well. So this is a chance for her to kind of get the get, for everyone to get to kind of know each other. Um, they start talking about sex and positions and who's submissive, who's not. Um, what they're addicted to: shopping, porn, arguing. I felt like that was a dig at Aaron because I remember someone saying in the episode that Aaron likes to. Did someone say Aaron? Aaron always, always is having a bad day and, and always likes to argue. I feel like that was a dig at Aaron. Um, and then Aaron, um, Aaron basically brings up Brynn. I guess she says that Brynn told a lie about the cheese. Um, Brynn says that basically that's what she heard. They go have a conversation in Jenna's room because Jenna was like, girl, listen, because it, like, it's really a dumb argument. It's one thing. OK, girl, is y'all talk about it. But girl, we really going to keep sitting here talking, listening to y'all talk about cheese. Um, Aaron says, let's go talk about it since they don't want to hear. They go into Jenna's bedroom. Girl, listen, I don't know why it bothered me, but girl, it bothered me when Brian said her ass on that lady's bed with her clothes on and her shoes. <laughs> girl, you don't even know this lady. Now, why is you laying on this lady's bed? I just, I was like, girl, why is you laying on this lady's bed? Girl, first of all, I don't even sit on people's bed. I just don't. Girl, I just, I don't, I was like, oh, okay, girl, you real comfortable. <laughs> girl, you real comfortable. Because if I would have walked in the room and saw you sitting on my bed, I would tell you to get your, get your big ass up. Girl, girl, get your big ass up off my bed. Girl, so they kind of like talk through it. <laughs> and Brent is funny. Brand thought that girl Aaron was gonna kill her, um, uh, and then they decide to kind of act like they got into an argument, and uh, they didn't come to a resolve, and so they walk out the room. They also put on Jenna's cloak. Uh, I think she put on Brand put on like a lace shirt, Valentino. <laughs> girl, let me tell you, I did cringe. Basically, Aaron had on like a sequin coat jacket, and Aaron, and Brynn had on one of Jenna's lace tops. She said it was Valentino. 
when they went to hug, I said, oh, girl, they're going to get stuck. Because, <laughs> girl, it's lace in it's sequin. Girl. girl, once you do this, I can guarantee you that that sequin going to get caught in that lace. That lace going to get caught in that sequin, girl. So, and Jenna, when Jenna said, oh, my God, they're hugging. I just turned my head. Like, girl, what is y'all doing? Girl, if y'all don't show asses out my house, for real, for real. Um, But, and then on top of that, girl, they got caught. It's like, it's no, it's no, like, it's going to happen. And, uh, you know, that was pretty much the end of the episode. But it was cute. I'm here for it. Um, again, I'm here. You know, everybody, this is first episode. So far, so, far, so good. I'm sure as the episode, um, you know, as we get further into the season, um, there are going to be people who dislike certain uh, cast members or love certain cast members. I don't know any of these women. So... They are pretty much just starting off on the same playing field to, with me. Um, I go off for Jenna because I just like Jenna's fashions. The lady is fly. I live it. I live for it. Um, <laughs> shout out to Jenna. I was even looking at Brynn's Instagram page. Brynn actually can a, actually has a cute look style too. I don't think anyone. I, I didn't. I didn't see anyone who just looked. Oh, Uber is gorgeous. Girl, I said, okay, Miss Uber. Is her name Uber? Uber is gorgeous. Um, but I didn't think I, I everybody looks nice. I, I like the it does give me like I feel like the way that people talk about New York, you know, and the fashions and all that stuff, I feel like they did a great job at getting women who are going to capture what they say New York is about. One of the things that New York is about, which is the fashion. I live, because like I said, everybody kind of, you know, looks nice. Jenna, I go up for though. Anyways, I'm gone. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye, y'all.